The Truth About Masturbation Benefits, Risks, and How to Stop If It Affects You Introduction Masturbation is one of the most common yet controversial topics in human sexuality. Some people see it as a natural and healthy activity, while others believe it carries negative consequences. Interestingly, ejaculation during partnered sex is often viewed as positive, but the same act through masturbation is sometimes stigmatized. But where do we draw the line? Is masturbation beneficial or harmful? What effects does it have on the body? And how can you stop if you feel it's negatively impacting your life? In this video, we'll explore the science behind masturbation, its potential advantages and disadvantages, and practical ways to manage it if needed. Understanding Ejaculation Masturbation versus Partnered Sex Physiologically, there is no fundamental difference between ejaculation from masturbation and ejaculation during intercourse. Both processes involve the same biological mechanisms, including arousal, stimulation, and the release of semen. However, studies indicate that semen volume may be slightly higher during partnered sex compared to solo masturbation due to heightened physical and emotional stimulation. A key distinction is the psychological and social dynamics of these experiences. Masturbation often relies on visual or mental stimulation, such as pornography or fantasy, while partnered sex involves real-time interaction, bonding, and a wider range of sensory input. Additionally, mutual masturbation between partners exists as a middle ground incorporating the benefits of intimacy with the safety of solo activity. The Benefits of Masturbation 1. Accessibility and Convenience Masturbation is easily accessible, requiring no external factors such as a partner or financial resources. It provides a private way to experience pleasure without societal pressure or relationship dynamics. 2. Lower Risk of STIs and UTIs one of the clear advantages of masturbation is the reduced risk of sexually transmitted infections, STIs, and urinary tract infections, UTIs. Unlike intercourse, where bacteria and viruses can be transmitted between partners, solo activity eliminates the risk of contracting infections, assuming proper hygiene is maintained. 3. Prostate Health and Cancer Prevention research suggests that frequent ejaculation may help reduce the risk of prostate cancer. The stagnation theory proposes that regular ejaculation flushes out potential carcinogens that might accumulate in the prostate. A study published in European Urology found that men who ejaculated 21 times per month had a lower risk of developing prostate cancer compared to those with lower ejaculation frequencies. 4. Prevention of Unplanned Pregnancies since masturbation is a solo act, it naturally eliminates the risk of unwanted or unplanned pregnancies, which can be a major concern in casual or unprotected sex. 5. Stress Relief and Sleep Aid Orgasms release endorphins, which help reduce stress, improve mood, and promote relaxation. Many people find that masturbation helps them fall asleep faster and achieve better rest. The Risks of Masturbation 1. Reduced Sensitivity and Erectile Dysfunction Excessive masturbation, especially with a firm grip, can lead to desensitization of the penile nerves. This can result in difficulty achieving or maintaining an erection during real intercourse, a condition known as porn-induced erectile dysfunction PIED. 2. Lower semen quality and zinc depletion Semen is composed of various nutrients. 3. Identify and avoid triggers. Recognizing triggers, such as certain websites, social media content, or specific emotions, can help break the cycle. Uninstalling explicit content apps or setting digital limits can be effective. 4. Develop new hobbies. Replacing the habit with physical activities like exercise, hiking, or creative outlets. Music, painting, writing, 
can redirect energy into more productive pursuits. 5. Consider professional help. If you struggle with compulsive behavior, consulting a therapist or joining support groups can provide guidance and accountability. Conclusion Ultimately, masturbation is a personal choice that depends on individual values, health goals, and lifestyle. Scientifically, it has both benefits and risks, and moderation is key. If you find it affecting your relationships, sexual health, or mental well-being, taking proactive steps to manage it can be beneficial. Whether you choose to embrace or limit the practice, being informed helps you make the best decision for your overall well-being. If you found this discussion valuable, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more science-based health insights.